Hi, and welcome to Repair Shopper's Getting Started series videos. In this video, we're going to take a brief glimpse at the inventory system. We want to show you how to set up a basic inventory item and how it works inside of Repair Shopper. So, with that to get started, let's click on the inventory tab. And on your account, you may notice four to five products already having been created on your account. We do this so that people can test out the software without having to know how to create products and that sort of thing. But if you're watching this video, chances are you want to you want to learn how to create new products. So, click on new item. And for the sake of this video, I've already started a new product and there's some a couple things to note on this screen. There are two fields required to create a new product: name and description you could add nothing else and hit create product and the product will successfully generate. However, you probably want to charge your customer for the things you sell, which totally makes sense. So enter in a price retail. This is the cost that will show on an invoice for your customer to pay. Enter a price cost. This is how much you paid for the product. And you'll see a markup percent, which is a handy indicator of about how much margin you're making and then when you're done hit create product. After that the page will reload and the product will successfully create but before I do that I just want to draw attention to a couple other things on this page. Repair Shopper has the ability to track inventory stock levels you can also track serialized products and if you do that I recommend checking out our purchase order system we're not going to cover that in this video but I did want to at least mention it and of course when you're creating the product straight out you could choose if you want to set a quantity so that you can add it to an invoice right away again I highly recommend looking at our purchase order system that's a component of the inventory feature but again we're not covering that in this video so next hit create product and like I said before the page will refresh and the product creation will be successful Next, to add a product to an invoice, I cover that in the invoice video. All you need to do is type in the product and into the search field to add it. Also optionally, I wanted to mention that we do have a couple different types of labels. So if you wanted to use a barcode scanner uh, and apply these directly to your product or just to scan them in to make product entry faster, you can do that. I hope this short video helps you create products pretty quickly and help you get up and running. We do have a pretty vast knowledge base article covering everything about the inventory as well as how to bulk import products. I highly recommend checking those out in our knowledge base which you can access from any page by clicking on the check mark and it will take you directly to the related knowledge base section. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one.